This is Jackie from techjackie.com and welcome you to another video on SEO. In today's video, I'll introduce you to one of the so-called SEO secret content strategy that when implemented on your website will help you rank much higher and that too with fewer backlinks. And this particular strategy is called as topic cluster or content silos or what many people would call as SEO silos, right? All basically all these things are, you know, referring to the same, you know, strategy, but I like to call as topic cluster because it makes more sense and I'll explain to you why, right? And basically, um, to put it in, you know, in simpler word, topic cluster or, or you know, SEO silos you know, uh, is a strategy which used to um, create, um, used to rank content with, you know, um, difficult keyword, right? Used to rank uh, content with a difficult keyword higher on the search engines results by creating the sub topics or supporting topics around that particular um, content, right? So let me just show you here with an example. So with this keyword SEO guide for beginners, as you can see the number one ranking results comes from Moz, right? This particular article. So let me just uh, open this and show you how it looks. As you can see here, this is the, you know, the, the content that they want to rank for. Then they've got a bunch of text here, right? And then, you know, right here, they've got, you know, all these chapters, right? One through, you know, seven, and there's, you know, this last um, links. And each links or each chapters represent a standalone content, right? Like, as you can see, like SEO 101, how search engines work, chapter three, keyword research, right? So let me just open uh, all this up for you so you can have a clear idea, right? So these are not just, you know, the links to anywhere else, but it's just an internal linking to, you know, a standalone content, right? As you can see, it's a very long form piece of content. This is also another one, right? As you can see, chapter two, this is, this is chapter three, right? Keyword research, as you can see. And all these are listed, you know, under beginner's guide to SEO. So basically all these supporting um, content are basically a part of, you know, this big piece of content, right? So... Um, let me just uh, show you with the help of a diagram so you can clearly understand. As you can see, there's this, you know, SEO guide for beginner, right, right in the middle. And then there's other, you know, um, related subtopics or what we normally call as supporting content, right, um, which are super related to this uh, main topic, right. And all these subtopics are, you know, internal linked to this main topic or, you know, this and also, you know, from this main topics, uh, content also inter linking out to all these, right, um, subtopics or supporting content. So this basically forms like a topic, like a cluster, right, as you can see here, it forms like a cluster. And that's why, you know, I, I like to call this topic cluster because it, it makes more sense, right, as you can see here. So why this strategy works so well, right? The reason being, um, I like you know, like in my previous video as well, I discussed, you know, the top three uh, Google ranking factors and how I discussed, you know, relevancy is the number one ranking factors, right? And this really makes so much sense, right? Because you see um, search engines result um, goal or, you know, Google's goal is to basically deliver the most relevant results to the users, right? And, um, Initially, you know, search engines like Google use, um, you know, keywords to identify what is the key content is all about, right? Even right now, keyword is still very important, right? Like search engine really need uh, keywords to really understand what the content is all about. But, you know, as time progressed, uh, search engines like Google have, you know, like updated their algorithm and now becoming, uh, now they're, you know, focusing on the topics rather than keywords, right? So now we have um, transitioned from the keywords um, based SEO to topic based SEO, right? So instead of focusing on keywords, search engine now will give more preference to topics, right? As you can see in this case, right? Like uh, these topics are being, you know, discussed, right? Instead of focusing, instead of, you know, stuffing in the keyword, like, you know, SEO guide for beginners in just one article, right? And this really makes sense because, you know, by cr having, you know, multiple content, uh, which are super related to the main keywords, 
you kind of uh, tell to search engines that you know you're an expert in this field right the more contents you have with re related that are related to the main topic the more search engines will look at your content as being you know experts or you know trustworthy or more relevant right as you can see here the relevancy are being determined by you know all these internal links right so search engines won't just look at your one of your content and um you know rank you higher but rather it will you know look at your overall websites or overall content right and see whether you have uh established the relevancy or not right so this is a very important thing you need to keep in mind so um how do you go about and you know implement this strategy on your websites right you see like in this case, I've shown you an example using the keyword, you know, SEO guide for beginners. Let's say, you know, you want to rank for something else, right? Like, you know, very difficult to rank for. So number one is, you know, you need to first um, pick up um, the keywords that you want to rank for, right? And that keyword should be, you know, like, you know, difficult, right? Right. Like in this case, SEO guide for beginners is super difficult to rank, right? Because there are many authoritative websites ranking for it, right? And it, it should be difficult, like any of the keywords that you want to rank for, right? And once you've done that, next is you need to, you know, um, you need to research for um, like related topics, right? Or, you know, keywords. And you need to create content on that, right? Like once you've done that, you need to um, create content um, for each related topic, right? And uh, keep in mind that, you know, the related topics would be topics which are, you know, easy to rank for, right? Like easier to rank for um, generally long tail, right? Long tail keywords like in this case right um like in this case like you know how search engines work is basically you know much easier to rank for than you know the seo guide for beginners right it but it's still super relevant to this particular content right so the second method research for related keywords or topics right and which are easier to rank for generally long tail right and third is to basically create content for each related topics the more content you have the better right it there's no fixed number but i would less i would you know suggest to you know create at least four um content right for a piece of content and this will basically you know be act as a supporting content right and then uh, once you've done that right you need to make sure that um all the in all the supporting content are linking to the you know the piece of content that you want to rank for right and that is from the first point so you pick a keyword right that you want to rank for you create content on this particular keyword right like it can be you know like let's say one thousand uh, like two three thousand words article wrong long right let's say a big guide on something and once you've done that, you go ahead and research for related topics, right? And you may also would want to, you know, mention um, each of the related topics in your main key, uh, content as well, right? Just how Moss did. You can either do like this or you can, you know, put it in between of the content. That's also fine, right? But make sure that you have the related topics, you know, present inside the main keywords, right? And, and the main content, sorry. And the third point is to create content for each related topics. At, I recommend to go at least for, you know, four pieces of content, right? And the last step is to all the supporting content should link, are linking to the piece of the content that you want to rank for, right? And the, and you know, the main P and the main content should also link out to the support supporting content right supporting content um keep in mind that you know you don't have to link to all the supporting content like right let's say um you have um you know you have let's say you want to rank for a keyword let's say you know um best running shoes right 
best running shoes this is the the topic that you want to rank for which are you know very difficult to rank then let's say you have created let's say 20 supporting content right supporting content now you would want to make sure that all the supporting content are linked to the main content but you don't really need it's not necessary for you to link you know to from your main content to all the supporting content right let's say you only link to you know link to um let's say 10 supporting content and that's is fine right at least you have form relevancy here but you know by internal linking from you all of your supporting content to your main content you know you kind of give the power to this right like a boost and when you build the backlinks right you can build it to this particular content and it will you know be distributed to all these right then you may also want to you know internal internal linking all the supporting content right whenever whenever it makes sense this again you know also you don't really have to force that you know all the supporting content really have to link to each other right just link to them you know not uh, like naturally make sure that you know it makes sense right and that's pretty much it um like then now i'm sure you must you know have this on your mind that you know how can you find all the re related topics right well you can either do this using you know um your keyword research tool right but sometimes i i find that for you know for certain keywords keyword research tool may not work properly right let's say you know you use uber suggest right then let's say you know your main content will be seo guide for beginners right then you go ahead and you know search for this keyword then generally you know next thing you need to do is find related topics right or related keywords so there's a section on uber suggest which lets you do that so let me just show you that real quick right so you just go ahead and go to the section where it says keywords idea right so there's a section where it says related keywords which basically means all the related topics or keywords right as you can see here you know seo guide for beginners google seo guide for beginners like like you know it's nothing related at all right like basically it's all referring to the same topics here right so um this particular method right by inputting your main keyword content on you know let's say into any of the keyword research tool it may work for some of the keywords but may not work for some of the keywords right so what's the best way to do that one of the best way to do is you know you basically um just you know let's say you basically you know put in your main keyword right like for example i want to rank for a keyword google adwords guide and you know just go ahead and have a look at you know um the first page ranking results right and see what are the topics that the the competitors are you know putting in onto onto their content and you can basically create content on that Let, let's say you know i open this you know um this link right by neil patel and have a look at you know his article so you know i can just keep on reading and you can see right you can have a look at the each of the subtopics that are being discussed here like for example you know how to use google adwords right so this i can create an article right i can create a standalone content i may have this uh present in my main piece content main main content and i may you know read write about it a little bit and i may link to you know my other support like my supporting content right so this can be made as one um, article right what else can be made here how does google adwords work right this can also be made as a standalone content right so now we got two um, supporting content what else can be made here right um so you can keep, just keep on scrolling and you know have a look at your competitors right basically you know this is just discussing instead of, you know having this much long article you can break them down into you know supporting content right rather than having everything on the, just one piece of content right so hope you're getting the idea right just basically have a look at your competitors and see what are the subtopics being discussed in their content and you can also use each of their subtopics and you know create them as turn them into you know um, the supporting content right for you to write on and this is the you know this is basically what the topic cluster is all about 
this term is basically coined by HubSpot, right? Like they have actually used this strategy on their websites, right? And have grown their organic, um, like, uh, visitors over time right like they have proved to it that it's very effective so i'll leave a link in the description so you can you know read the article right like this generally what a normal website structure would look like like right like for example you have the home page and you would have a uh, categories and you know all the contents are being you know dispersed right like there's no no really cluster on it and then once you apply this strategy your website will look something like this right like here this is the main topic, then you got all the supporting co topics, and then this another cluster, right? Main topic, supporting topics, another cluster, main topic, supporting co topics. So hope you're getting the idea here, right? I'll just leave the link in the description so you can, so you can read about this again. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section, right? So, and I'll try to answer them as soon as possible. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.